Hello, everyone. Why do we have this thinking? It is bad to be used. Like, isn't it a good thing to be there for some people? Even if they don't or probably wouldn't do the same for you. Probably with most people I deal with, maybe not all, but perhaps 80% or more, they probably wouldn't go as far that I go with them. Am I saying that right? They probably would not do the same things I do for them for me, if that makes any sense. And for me, that is not really a big deal because I know that we are going to reap what we sow. And not only that, who really wants to be a stingy and selfish person all the time? And you may say that you don't have money and it is not all about money. Like, don't you want to be a reliable person? A person that, not to say that people will abuse you. I'm not saying like those type of people, but wouldn't it be like seen as a good thing maybe i think in a different way but isn't it like a very good thing to be a reliable person like hey when i need help you know if i am in a tough jam not to say someone will abuse you i am not talking about those type of people but someone like, don't you want to be someone who is reliable? When you think of Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ was on earth in human form, I guarantee you, or I would assume, let's say I would assume, that probably most people that he did things for didn't really do much or anything for him it is not so much about people doing so much for you i believe it is about being helpful to people i don't know a lot about heaven i believe the bible tells us maybe some things about heaven heaven perhaps but I imagine in, in heaven, there is no lack. I believe too, in a heaven, people are going to be helping people. And think about this as well. How can you truly call yourself a Christian if you have this bad thinking about helping people that don't help you. Like, this world is bigger than just us. Like, we don't always have to be the center of attention, the center of being given to. We can't always expect us to be the ones who will benefit in a situation. So inside of my mind, being used is not always a bad thing. Maybe the word used is maybe a bad word. 
uh, to express what I am trying to say. But being called upon for help so much, to a degree, I guess, it's not always a bad thing. For instance, I do some things for people. And I know many of them probably would not do the same things for me. Probably would not. Probably would not go as far for me as I do for them. But that is not really a big deal. And you may say, Kevin, you know, you are just going to attract manipulators and deceivers and narcissists and stuff like that. Perhaps so. But um, not to say that, you know, I should lose my mind and not discern what to do and what not to do. And, you know, within reason, I would say. But I know one thing. We can't live in this life only for ourselves. Like, I don't know how exactly it is going to be, but I believe we all have to stand before God one day. And I am not trying to scare anyone, but I believe we will have to answer for the things that we have done on this earth. Like, who really wants God to tell them that, hey, you are very selfish. You mainly cared about only yourself. You did things only in your best interest. Like, uh, you would use people. You would manipulate people. Like, it was about you. You were like the the main frame of your own life. Like who really wants God to speak of them in that type of way? Honestly, I believe in this life, we are being evaluated every day. I believe we are being judged every day based upon what we say based upon the way we behave and probably many more factors let's say you live until you are 80. let's say you live until you are 80 and die and god doesn't really have too many good things to say about your life because you were very selfish like wouldn't that have been like a very pointless life like in this life there are so many disappointments and problems and like i think the average person may go through so much why even suffer to that degree then be told that you really didn't do too good while, you know, I believe it really beats the purpose. I don't know, like, at least, at least that is how I feel about it. Why suffer for no point? I am not saying that I am the best Christian of the year. I am not saying that I serve God better than everyone, but when I have to stand before God to be judged, you know, I want him to tell me that I have been faith faithful to him, that I lived my life in a loving way, not only to God, but to people as well. I want to be told by God that I was 
honest and caring and a joy to be around that even though some people probably did not appreciate me or cared about me as much as I appreciated or cared about them, but I was still willing to help people, some people. So pretty much in the end, I truly want to be pleasing to God. I don't know the exact way it is said I don't know if it is in the Bible, but something about well done, my good and faithful servant or something like that. I want to be, I don't want my life to be a waste. I believe many of us are living in this life for the wrong purpose. You know, like, I guess there is nothing wrong with wanting to excel in life, wanting a very nice job and many possessions and stuff like that. But I believe so many people are placing the carnal so much before the spiritual. I believe they acknowledge or have it in their mind. I really hope this is making sense. It's like we, it's like many of us are being distracted on what we should be doing. And I believe I am becoming less that way, but I need to do so much better. Think about it. When you die, let's say that you were the type of person that would work seven days a week, 10 to 12 hours a day. And let's say that, you know, you have a great education that you made over $20 million and all that stuff like that. And let's say that you die. Like, how is that going to benefit you in the next life? Let's say that you approach God and tell him like, hey, like, uh, hi, God, I, I worked so much. You know, I made a lot of money. I had, I had a lot of possessions like. What do you believe God is going to respond to you? What do you believe how God is going to respond to you? Do you think that is really going to mean anything to him? Yes, you worked a lot. You went to school a lot. And you may have many degrees. And let's say that carnally wise you are very wise let's say that you had a lot of fun on earth but what is that really going to mean once you reach the next world i think many of us are wasting time i believe the world tells us to get as much as you can do as much as you can in earthly terms but how is that really going to help you in the next life with me i don't really care so much about this world you know i told i told someone something in essence i told that person like I'm not really caring about like making a lot of money, getting rich. Now, I think it is good to help people and stuff like that, but I'm not really caring about becoming rich. I'm not really caring about having so much possessions. I'm not really caring so much about having 
trying to get like a very high grade education because <clears throat> I know I am going to die one day. And what good is my education once I am dead? What's What good is a lot of money when I am dead? Yes, I know that you can give it away and to charity and stuff like that. Okay. What good is a very high education once I am dead? I think a lot of that stuff is pointless. I believe we wasting our time on pointless things, which it is not bad to want to make money or to, you know, get many degrees and stuff like that. I don't think that is bad, but if you are placing God on the back burner, you should not do that at all. With me, not to say I am doing a whole lot, but you know, I focus on these YouTube videos about the God. I focus on, you know, those shorts and sometimes I uh, post text and stuff about God. You know, sometimes I may speak to a person about God like that is truly my main passion. I really hope this is making sense. Some people may say, Kevin, you live a very boring life. And that may be very true. I do live a boring life, I guess, in some people's eyes. But the way I see it, Yes, I could go and want to be very successful in this life. I probably could go to college and or to a trade school, I guess, and make quite a bit of money and all that stuff there. But to make this really easy to understand, I don't want to dig a hole for 20 years then putting then put dirt back into it i don't want to do something that is pointless to me it is pointless to chase after money i know we have to pay our bills and stuff like that and that is okay but i think some people really really are extra I don't know how I can express this I believe people really really are crazed with the things of this world to where they want to make a lot of money and stuff like that and for me that is pointless because even if you make 400 million or 100 million you are going to have to pass it to another person when you are dead. And if it is your passion to work a lot, that is fine. But put God first. With me, my mind is more so, not to say that I am perfect, but my mind is more so on kingdom stuff. Even throughout the day, my mind is on God and, and probably, you know, some scriptures may come to my mind. Yes, demonic things come to my mind as well, and I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. But um, my mind is really on things that matter. Because I know once I die, what I have done in Christ while on this earth will last. I believe the record that I have on this earth will come with me. My laptop, 
<laughs> my car, my clothes, my wool socks are not going to come with me when I die. But what is going to come with me is my records on how I behave, spoke, and probably some more things on this earth. So what I am doing in Christ will be a positive once I pass over to the next realm. I think this is something that some people may not really think about. I think some people want to be seen as great in the eyes of people. And with me, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. With me, I want to, what I am trying to do right now, I am trying to do what is right. I am not 100% perfect at it, but I am trying to do <clears throat> what is right. I am trying to respect people. I am trying to honor God. I am trying to help people with the things of god and i believe that if i do a good enough job i believe i will be pleasing to god you know i don't want to say that i am very pleasing to god now because i don't want to sound prideful or whatever word that is. I want to sound humble. I hope what I am saying really makes sense. You know, it's time out. Wasting our lives with the temporary, which it is nothing wrong to want to better yourself in education and money and stuff like that but when you make that your main focus you are wasting your time on this earth let me stop here may god bless us amen